Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. Today's video is my ice cream beauty box and this is for the month of November, of course. If you're unfamiliar while I'm digging in, it's a $25 monthly beauty subscription and they have a large focus on indie brands. I'm gonna pull everything out but still kind of look at you guys, not my bag. I try my best to not get any spoilers, although I did see what the palette choices were. You can go in on choice day and pick your choices. There is an informational card right here. You'll get to that as well. And I want to note too, very quickly, just so you don't look like a ding dong like I did on choice day. Um, I think that this month and another friend of mine also told me that in a previous month, when I went to go make my choice, it said you are not a member of the whatever or you're not subscribed to the whatever. And I was like, yes, I am. I, I get the box. What's going on? Um, I think they had the links reversed. So just note that for yourself. If you go in there and you try to make your selection, double check on it because when I clicked on the one that said make your choice for box, it said you are not subscribed to the bag and hers said the same thing. So just want to note that. And then it says as a subscriber, you're not indulging in something that's uniquely yours. You're also you're not only indulging in something that's uniquely yours, you are also becoming part of a community that's bigger than just one person. We are like a close-knit group of kindred spirits bonded by our love for vivid colors and our shared devotion to makeup. Being a subscriber means celebrating your own natural beauty, feeling truly extraordinary, and giving yourself the space to express your authentic self without without reservation and then all the deets are right here we'll wait for those at the end so right on top i am seeing the cheeky rose beauty this is a foundation brush if i'd have known that was in there i would have done my foundation with this <laughs> and i have used brushes like these in the past i think that is really pretty it feels like it's got a little bit of weight to it, it feels quite substantial next up is the bow babe beauty liquid eyeshadow in the shade chocolate bronze already that packaging looks incredible i will open this and check it out with you guys next up i am seeing the lash step snatched mascara packaging is also really really beautiful and that's one of the main things that i subscribed to this particular box for is because there is an emphasis on indie brands and you guys know my love for them this is the love bird tinted lip balm And I like that we're kind of building a full-ish face. And then the palette picks were from Dee Dee's Signature. And I do have one palette from Dee Dee's Signature, the Chrome palette. This right here is the Jingle Bell Ruby eyeshadow palette. Um, and so far, based on the one palette I do have, I love. Um, I think they do really beautiful, unique, kind of quirky, out there type of color stories. And y'all, I mean, that's what I love. I did opt for this one because y'all know I'm a sucker for greens, so we will also demo this. Let me see if this folds all the way back. It kind of does. So here's the color story. All right. And before we dive into that, I do want to open everything up. I am probably not going to use the brush. I'll just kind of pay that forward or pass it along, put it in my resale group, something like that. Um, and that's only because, not that it's not beautiful, because it's incredibly pretty, I have enough. <laughs> so I'm going to get everything open. That lash step feels like great quality. It feels nice and heavy and luxe. I love that packaging. Super pretty. All right. Have you tried Ice Cream Beauty? Do you like indie brands? What are your favorite indie brands? I'm curious. That's so beautiful. Again, that is chocolate bronze. Now, if I kept things solely based on like what it looked like in packaging, I would keep this. I am not always a liquid eyeshadow fan, but the way that this is shaped, it could actually be more like eyeliner. So maybe that's also what it's supposed to be used for. Um, for now, because I don't know that I'm going to keep it, I'm not going to use it. And I do not typically use things or open things I know I'm not going to use. Now the tinted lip balm, I will 100% use this and this is in the shade Smooch. So we will test that out as well. They do also offer an ice cream beauty bag. So that's super fun too. Let me go ahead and take this off. And it smells good. Kind of vanilla-y. Ooh, I like that. 
Ooh, very pretty. Oh gosh, that smells really good. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel thick and it doesn't have that weird like waxy bitter taste to it. So, so far so good. All right, we'll go through our card. November, holiday prep. Um, the Classic Autumn or Jingle Bell Ruby Palette, which was our choice for our palettes, they are $35. Um, and then the foundation brush by Cheeky Rose Beauty is a value of $38. The Chocolate Bronze Liquid Eyeshadow by Bow Babe Beauty is $30. Um, the Snatched Fiber Mascara by Lash Step is $21. So just the mascara, you guys, is pretty much what I paid for the entire box almost. And then our Tinted Lip Balm by Love Bird Beauty is $10. So yeah, I'm excited. Let me prime really quickly. I'm using the last little bit of my Alter Ego eyeshadow base. This was gifted and I do have an affiliated code with Alter Ego. It is RiRi10. I will do some swatches and then we will do a quick look. But this is my second month getting the box and I am thrilled. I love that it is kind of a fully curated box if you will meaning it's not like a bunch of disjointed bs that like you're you get one piece of this and then one of this and one of that and then you're thinking what am i gonna do with this <laughs> like it's literally i have mascara i have my balm i have a brush i have the the eyeshadow palette so there's enough in here that you can kind of have a cohesive look or build a cohesive look with it so we are going to go ahead and go in we have sugar plum Frostbite, Sleigh Ride, and Crispy Holidays. They feel incredibly smooth. This one has a little bit of flake to it. Oh my gosh. And you guys know I love shades like these. I am a sucker for, first of all, indie brands, as y'all know, but I just love beautiful eyeshadows, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And even though that one seemed a little bit flaky, it is you know, swatching out incredibly, incredibly smooth. They are all swatching out incredibly smooth. I feel like these shifts here are quite apparent and quite strong. Next up are Olive Penguins. This one feels a little bit more kind of traditional, but I am seeing a blue to green shift in there. Then Crispy Trees also feels just a little bit more, kind of like thick, a little bit more dense. That is like a purple to like teal. Incredible. <laughs> we have Snowman Cookies. Quite opaque and quite intense. And then Rudolph Cookies. Also quite intense. Ooh, baby. And last up we have candy cane bright ruby santa's tree this one feels a little drier and noel night and i do like the layout and i do like the complimentary mats to the shimmer shades i think i'm gonna do like an easy maybe like one matte, one shimmer type of look, but I think I wanna go into Snowman Cookies. That picks up really great on the brush. This is a refer 01. And I'm going to keep that pretty low so I have room to blend. And I will always start, especially if I'm kind of laying down my like grounding shade or the shade that I'm trying to kind of reach full opacity or full pigment, I kind of press it into place as you can see. And I think I'm honestly going to put this across the entire lid. And then just kind of color it in. Again, keeping it pretty low because I do have hooded lids. And I also want to make sure that I have room to just blend the shade out. Now, obviously, in my opinion, <laughs> this for me would be a complementary type of palette. I do not feel like, I mean, this is going to be a cohesive you know look by itself what I'm doing but 
I don't feel like in my opinion that there's enough to like kind of blend this out or anything like that basically tonally it's kind of all the same there's no like lightening up shades now I'm literally just gonna dust this off down here and so that I can flick my edges and make them a little bit less harsh I'm literally gonna take the end of that brush and very very softly diffuse those edges so I'm laying down one shade, but in doing it in this manner, I'm able to kind of come in and still have a little bit of blendability with it. Then I think just with my finger, I wanna go into Crispy Holidays. And I am a fan of just using my, whoa, <laughs> using my fingers for metallic or shimmer shades. You can also go in with just an old school like sponge tip applicator. You can go in and use a silicone applicator. I find for myself personally that using my fingers gives me the best bang for my buck, if you will. That is stunning. And because I don't have any other shades up here as far as mattes, I am going to, whatever is left on my finger, just kind of walk that up there. Now, oh, they're also pretty. Um, I feel like I need to go here. It just looks so beautiful. This is Sugar Plum, again, just with my finger. And I'm going to meet the other shade and then come almost all the way over. And again, whatever little tiny bit is left on my finger, I'm going to walk that up some. That is beautiful, and you guys saw in real time how incredibly easy that was. Back in with this brush into that original shade, and I just want to intensify that. I feel like we lost it just a little bit. And then into the little tiny pencil brush, back into Snowman Cookies. And I am just going to bring that down to the lower lash line, and then I'm gonna do the same thing just tiny little circular motions just to further blend that out. All right, let me do this other side. I'll be RB. All right, here's the finished eye look. I'm gonna test out the mascara next, but I went in with a ton of like a cool tone pink blush. And then I took that green from the inner corner all over the brow bone and used it as my highlight as well. Um, feeling slightly obsessed, you guys. All right, next up is the Lash Step Mascara again. Packaging, holy freaking crap. 10 out of 10. I love this kind of wand. It also seems a little bit of a thicker type of formula, which is also my favorite. It might be a little thick out here, but I love a big kind of open fluffy type wand. Let me get my mirror a little closer while still making sure you guys can see me well. <laughs> All right, it seems to be very, very black. Again, a little bit drier like I like. Definitely giving me some lift and some curl. A little bit of volume. Let's go in with a little bit more. And I think, didn't this say, let me just double check. Yeah, it's supposed to be a fiber mascara. Fiber infused mascara builds incredible length and volume without clumping. All right, also, I mean, of course, I can kind of give you guys like, you know, my first impression today, but I really like to live in a mascara <laughs> for like a week or so. Let it be open and stuff like that, because in my opinion, and just kind of with experience over the last 30 something years, um, they tend to change and kind of like their consistency and stuff the longer that they're open. I am seeing those little fibers. I'm seeing some additional length. Not blowing my socks off, but I do really like how it's looking. I really like the, the amount of lift that I'm getting more specifically, kind of like lift and curl. This honestly is reminding me of the Benefit Fan Fest because I'm getting like a lot of length and curl 
but then it also kind of is like flicking like in the outer part of the lash if that makes any sense like it's giving me that fan effect the way that that one does yeah that's nice all right let me finish up the other side and then we'll come back and i'll wrap things up all right beauties here is our finished look demo and unboxing with the november ice cream beauty box I would love to know your thoughts down below. I am absolutely thrilled. You guys saw literally in real time, aside from me adding a little bit to the brow bone, you saw how quickly the little eye look went. That's something I think that I really love so much about using like special shades, if you will, special shades, multi-chrome, sparkly, shimmery, you know, duo chromey type shades. I can literally add anything and I speak to this a lot of the time especially in the summertime because I'm very much a less is more person in the summertime specifically I will go into my crease or all over the lid with whatever blush or bronzer I've used it automatically gives me a very cohesive more monochromatic you know vibe to my makeup and then I literally go in with my finger and slap on one or two shimmers you guys it is that easy in my opinion um that is it I'm thrilled I think this look as quick as it was it is absolutely stunning you guys like and I'm all about that minimum effort to maximum payoff y'all okay um yeah that's it thank you guys so much for joining I truly truly appreciate it what are your favorite subscription boxes are you ready for Thanksgiving are you ready for the holidays do you dread the holidays I would like to know comment down below let's have that conversation thank you for being here thank you to my beautiful channel members I love you stay happy healthy and safe and of course be your own best beautiful <laughs> bye beauties